Hi guys, welcome. I am for once on the ISO builder, right? So here the ISOs are created or managed. And one of the things we have as Arch Linux users, I think, I hope, if in need, right? The beginning of the month is always a new Arch Linux ISO release. So the archlinux.org website is one thing. And the other thing is, well, we got something called AAG in short, or Arclix Application Glade, which actually is a project to teach you in 80 videos how to create something like this. And if we click this button, we are going to create an Arch Linux ISO. I've done it also quite already quite some time. So 29 October and just today I've made a new one. So 11.2. But rather than installing our own creation, I'm going to grab the one official one, right? This one officially from the archlinks.org straight from osbeck.org. That's the one for me. That's the best for me in Sweden, living in Belgium. I know. So we got ourselves an arch here. We could reuse it. Sure. Remove, delete all files and say, let's clone a new arch. Why would you do that? Why would you keep that around? To compare. Whatever system you're on, and therefore as Garuda and all the guys, right? Anything based on Arch, it makes sense to see what's going on, and certainly if you're an ISO builder, to see what's going on on the official one, the one that is actually released from ArchNix.org, right? And compare, melt, you know, <laughs> the tool I always recommend, melt, compare, one thing with the other in this case huh, we should compare two isos but of course there's differences we don't like to get into a black screen we'd like to have a graphical environment so a display manager so choose nzdm lightm lxdm lie right we need to do something and then something behind it oh what shall we take xfc4 or plasma or etc etc if you're installing archlinks.org wait very strange but wait, he's doing all kinds of things. And the most important thing is he's doing the initialization of Pac-Man, right? So if you're too quick, and this is my advantage, I have to get my keys in. So now I have my Azerti key because systemctl, systemctl, I need to know the status of this one. This one needs to be all greeny, right? This is okay. If it's like four, five, six lines, it's not okay. Now I know it's okay. It's enabled. It's finished. The process is done. Now I can or start typing, which I don't like anymore. But you can have a look at arclinksd.com phase seven. Type it away or use the Arch install. So Arch install is a script that finally came in because, yeah. In the beginning, people said users need to type. Well, they need to know how to partition things and all that, right? Here with this guide, you have a lesser lesser issues or you can, if you watch a few videos, you get it, right? You see, okay, Arch install language. Let's keep the language, mirror region. I need to have a slash, so this one. I go for Sweden. I know I live in Belgium, but Sweden is for me best. Akum is there, Osbeck is there, and we'll get the fastest one, which is Osbeck, right? Back. And that's where the stuff is coming from. So the packages, the Lego blocks, are coming from a place. The mirrors. Locales, keyboards, no, no, right? BE, Latin, that one. Back. This configuration, I'll just follow what was the best effort. I don't do anything difficult. Use the best effort default partition layout. Cool. Now, I don't want to have the loop here, right? And I that's the SDA, that's the one. So space bar and then enter, X4 and then back. Well, disk encryption, nope, nope. System deboot, great. Grub wasn't working a few months ago. Maybe it's now working, but listen to what I'm saying. Don't change anything. It works. It works fine. You do want to have grub. Try it out. But remember, there might be issues, right? 
EFI stuff worked as well in the past. Grub didn't for me anyway, not in VirtualBox. So this is the choice, right? I'm gonna keep system boot as I know it works, and otherwise with a video with a system that doesn't work. Unify kernel is no, no swap. Actually, no, it's a virtual machine. Root password, sure. Password, password, an account, add the user. What's his name? What's the password? What's the password? Do you want them to be a super user? Of course. Otherwise, I can't install anything. Profile is desktop. And then often I just go for XFCE. So over time, I have always the same thing. I look at the same thing and I can compare over time. We do have SDM. So it makes sense for us to choose SDM. So we have the same, well, thing as Arch Linux, basically. Back, audio, sure, choose two of them, one of one of these, right? Doesn't really matter. It's the sound is good for you, the sound is good for you. Simple as that. Network, network manager, time zone. There we go again. Brussels, voila. Strew, install, enter. So if you watch it a bit slower and watch some other videos, you say, okay, you can do this, you can do that. So there are options, but sometimes things don't work. Then you choose something else and use what works at the moment. If ButterFS doesn't work, if EFI stub doesn't work, if Grub doesn't work, choose something else. There's some enough variables to keep it, to get it together and to, to, to install an operating system. Then, then you're on your own use your own scripts like I do, Arclinx Nemesis script, can't say it enough, learn how to write uh, these scripts in, in Bash or doesn't matter, Fish, ZSH, so Bash scripting or scripting, terminal scripting, shell scripting, how should I call it, but start that because that will save you a lot of time. This is well, right? If you had to type all this, let's go there. If you had to type all this, super uh, D, Let's go for brave. I'm so brave. And we go to arcanlinksd.com. It not that it is a lot. It takes like 10, 15 minutes to type everything out. So this is the older machines. So better go to this one. And you'll scroll through it. I say, okay, I need to do this. All the blue things is what I need to do, but maybe you need to get the DE from Germany, etc., etc. Keyboard, keyboards, right? All the blue things is what I actually need to type. So commands, CF disk, tell them GPT, how big should be my EFI, how big should be my root, will I use swap, or will I not use swap, right? Choices all the time, but it's typing, 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 typing. And at the end, you need to go for the next step. It's not finished. Then you need to figure out, will I take this one, boot, refine, system D, if I stop, what will I choose? Okay, you choose some more. All the blue things, you type it in. Next step. And it's all explained what you need to do, even drivers, not in detail because there are old computers that need old drivers and then you need to figure it out how it all works. That might be a challenge, right? Here we're gonna go for LightDM, but you could go for SDM, it's just a choice. Choose what you like, and then the rest, the fun stuff. Well, I think it's the fun stuff. Yeah, which desktop or which tiling window manager will I take? And then you go on and have a look what is possible, what I've done in the past. Um, by the way, today I tested out Ukui, not working, Cutefish, not working, Deeping, not working, right? <laughs> so those are the, the desktops that are sick, as we call it. And then, of course, yeah, you're wasting your life, you're wasting your time because it's, it's not working. It's simply not working. Just like this one, right? So what's going on? There is an issue here, a return bootstrap, etc. So frozen import lib bootstraps GCD a script guided pi scripts doesn't have, no clue which part of it is wrong here, but is he is referring to pipe wire here? 
so if it's a pipe wire we should take pulse audio that's for sure pipe wire yeah i think it's a system pipe wire pulse service so we could try it again and say let never mind and let's take um, i have to do everything again right so this thing can happen and that's probably why people then have a look at aag but it's basically the same thing right oh why is it going away all each time sweden space like this okay enter let's see if it's pipe wire that's the issue that's the default one back locales lead keyboard oh, that's still good oh that's still good let's keep that this configuration partitioning use best effort sure x4 uh, back bootloader sure swap true it's back to true that's good so these things will occur right and the only thing you can do is try something else as an end user or if you have a little bit more knowledge you go to the guys of this uh, arch iso script this arch install script and tell them i've tried this try that i've got problems right did we change uh, yeah okay xfc is selected back so this one might be the, th the culprit not sure trial and error let's see if this is better if you use pulse audio and a network here time zone back to brussels and that's it i guess install up let's see and as long as you can install your system you can still install arch linux tweet tool and go to pipewire afterwards but now we need to get through right we need to get it on the on the system without any fault without any error otherwise yeah we're nowhere we basically need to get another iso from endeavor or garuda or eric de Poix, right lci eraser anywhere else as if this is if, if the choices you want to make are not possible with the current arch links iso guess what take the one before right so october november an update let's see here's the ALPM creating the group that's new pacman 7 got those extra few lines in uh, pacman.conf and that's why you need to have this right this virtual box thing of arch know what's going on on arch and then you can analyze what's going on on DevOS, what's going on on Big Linux, what's going on on ArchBang, etc., etc. This feels good, I think. This is no problem, right? A warning does not mean there's a mistake. There's a warning. You'll find enough forum posts on Arch saying, "Never mind, it's just a warning." But personally I don't like to see it either so we install the firmware I think we've passed the issue so pipewire is a problem for whatever reason it's a Python script arch install there is a sound that's sound so if this is gonna go voila <laughs> again an issue so it's not pulse audio but it's somewhere in here that it says no can do, right? No can do. Guided pie, installer, installer pie, the full profiles. So the orange thing says Arch install experienced the above error. If you think this is a bug, please report it to Archinstall. Include the log file. I need to include something. And where is that? Let's have a look. Cat for log 
arch install install log no medium found no medium found but it goes is before that also enter 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 oh, something red already can we go up no we can't but those are mirrors so that's probably not it but I'm back at the end All right. space 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 bar all mirrors 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 so it's gonna check what's the best mirror for Eric ah. Again, too fast. Somewhere here. Can't we go to the end or something? Does it exist? End? Probably not. <laughs> There's also less. Not that it helps. Let's see. Ah, yeah. ah. Oh, that's great. Page up, page down. So, no medium found. Is stuck here somewhere. Arch bin, arch root, installing packages, pipe wire, and so on. But actually, I think I selected Pulsario. <laughs> Bootstrap. I know if you install Pulsario, there are a few pipe wire things there. But. I think it's one log after the other. It's a long log file for all the second time as well. Here it starts. Pipe wire pull service. Failed to connect to bus. That's the message. No medium found. So that's where the issue starts. And then it's up to the developers uh, to figure out what's going wrong. I don't know their Python code. So that's for it for me. I mean, no, I hope they deliver us a better ISO. But again, go to the one from October, go to the one to September, go back in time and just update because basically, right, there will be some changes like the pacman.conf will not be okay. But all right, you'll see it will work. That's it for now. Arch install is not a go. Cheers. PS, that means manual labor, right? Go type it all out, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>